We'll see Warren Smith Jr. go to town again. Speaking of town, Warren Smith Jr. is actually a phys ed health and football coach at Lacey Township High School. And he'll scramble and he's dragged down. And, and I just want to brag by a, Ethan Farmer. I just want to brag a little bit on Warren Smith Jr. We met this guy twice. One of the nicest human beings you could ever meet. I would love to have that guy as my gym as my gym teacher or one of my coaches. He's just a great personality to be around and an even better quarterback. But I, I think his personality really shines through. He's one of the better guys we have in the National Re League. Uh, always willing to take the time to talk to us for however long. And like you said, Brandon, just an all-around great guy. Prince in motion, not able to get the snap off. I think it's going to be a false start. So they'll be brought back a little bit more. And uh, just one more thing on Warren Smith is he he loves the game of football, a part-time job, full-time passion for him. As that's, he posted on Facebook and Instagram, I'm still waiting for a follow back from him. <laughs> But uh, I think you'll get it soon. That's one of the better quotes I've heard. Part-time job, full-time passion. Uh, that that shows his uh, his unique character. So Prince in motion, second down, and unable to find the dish to Wyrie's Bradley, and that'll bring up third down. And like you said, Brandon, that kick, that punt, quote unquote, able to put this Lehigh Valley team in some troubling field position and on that last play they were trying to set up a screen pass so almost all of their linemen are you know on the way out and mike johnson got a free run at the quarterback again almost made warren smith pay for it pump fake warren smith looking downfield unable to find prince and the pass is incomplete and we'll see what they do. Backed up. I don't think you can kick from here because that's a very hard kick. That's a difficult kick to get off. This Steelhawks team is the third best team on fourth down conversions with 42.9%. Just under 50%. That's, that's something to marvel at a little bit. That's how you win football, football games in arena. You convert on fourth down. Brandon, I'll say this again. I can't hear myself think as Oliver is in motion. Caught from first down, Prince. And that's just showing the dynamic receiving core that Warren Smith Jr. has at his disposal. And, and Prince running the dig route there, getting about however far he needed to get to get to the sticks and then making a quick two or three step turn and getting himself separation from his defensive back. Nice route running by Darius Prince. Again. Smith. The pass will be incomplete <laughs> as Prince was not able to maintain full position as he hit the ground. Yeah, no, I think Darius Prince we talk about Malachi Jones route running ability. Darius Prince has shown it twice on those two plays. He had Randall Burden spinning like a top. You know, he made one move to the outside, then cut it back in, and he almost made a nice play on the ground. But good recovery by Randall Burden, able to get a hand in there. Renfrew in motion, able to find Prince again. He's brought into the Dashers by Reggie Sullivan, a gain of five yards. And that was a tough pass by Warren Smith Jr. Larry Ford's hand was right in the passing lane, and Warren Smith Jr. had to change the angle of his throw, and he made a great throw to the outside, outside the numbers, off the wall. Prince in motion again, looking downfield, caught! Prince, his third touchdown of the game. He set him up with the same move. That was the move where he dropped the ball earlier. It's the exact same route. 
fake the corner out to the outside, then run another corner out to the other side of the field. I mean, Randall Burden had no chance on that one. That's a that's a really good route ran by by Darius Prince. And it'll look like the Steelhawks will be going for two as Spencer Hotelling does not leave the bench. That's a smart play, make it a 20 point game. And we'll see if they hand off to Godzilla here. And they do. And he's able to push his way into the end zone for the two point conversion. Why Rees Bradley getting his first points of the game. Steelhawks lead 23 to three, a 20 point game here. And Brandon, what do this Grizzlies team need to do on offense? Of course, they need to be a little bit more accurate with their passing. Whoa. They really put themselves back behind the sticks, and when you're behind the sticks at fourth and long, third and long, it's really hard to make plays as a quarterback or as a team. And Stephen Panisuk, you know, just missing wide on a couple of plays. I also think there was a couple of miscommunications between his wide receivers, so they need to iron that out. And they they need a touchdown on this drive. They need they need to have a response to this Lehigh Valley team because Lehigh Valley team up 20 points. You don't want them up by 20, 27 heading into halftime. Well, we'll see if this Grizzlies team can answer back. And both of these teams, well, the Seahawks said that they're a much better team. They feel like they have a better protection for Warren Oliver, or Warren Smith, excuse me. And we'll see Hotelling boot this one away. Betterson to field. He's out to the 10. He's able to avoid some men. He's out to the 20. And he's taken into the dashers at midfield. Nice return by Greg Betterson. Able to set up his blockers and then cut it back the other side of the field. And you're starting in plus territory. You have to capitalize on this possession. This has to be a touchdown for the Grizzlies. Four minutes, 17 seconds. Matt Kronbach, Brandon to Will Stanley on the sidelines. Steelhawks lead 23-3. to three. See Panasuk line up under center. Finds Malachi Jones able to gain some yards. And he'll be brought into the Dashers for a gain of eight yards. Nice play designed by Stephen Panasuk and Coach Rez getting Malachi Jones involved early. Well, as there are players to watch, we've already seen Darius Prince have three touchdowns. Coming into this game, he had 13, so he's now at 16. Malachi Jones, 41 receptions into this game, 414 yards, 11 touchdowns. Panasuk finds Speedy Clark for the first down. Speedy Clark might be one of the smaller guys on this team. He's definitely one of the most vocal and one of the toughest. It's going to be really hard to bring that guy down as the, the defensive back was trying to drag Darren Clark to the ground. So that'll bring up first down and almost goal. We'll say about a yard or two from the goal line. And we'll see Malachi Jones, the former Appalachian State Mountaineer. He's got NFL blood running through his veins. And found in the end zone, Malachi Jones! <laughs> Much like Darius Prince on Lehigh Valley's side, just saw an exceptional route win by Malachi Jones, setting up his man with his eyes and then cutting it hard to the outside with that corner route. Great route running by Malachi Jones to get open and nice throw by Stephen Penn. And we've praised him all season. As students at Appalachian State, we were able to watch him here at Kid Brewer Stadium and his Route running has become elite, to say the least. And another boot as Will Johnson kicks it through the uprights for another PAT. Two, on, two for two on the day. 